Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about how to access protected intents via exported activities. So in this example we have an exported activity called exported protected intent and it reads in an intent called access protected component right here. And as you can see in this example on resume is when it reads in the data that is passed to it. And then it checks if the if the intent access protected component exists. And then it starts it starts that intent. Now what you what we have to do here is is basically pass two intents in our POC to access the protected components. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, the protected component that I'm going to access is called flag 12 protected activity and this is not exported in the manifest um, and the only reason I, I can access this is because of that other exported activity and what I'm going to pass is data for totally secure and it's going to be a URL so when we execute the POC it'll, it should go to that URL now my POC app is right here. Now this is kind of like layering one request on top of on top of another request. So the first one we want to make is the start request, which accesses the first intent in that initial exported activity, and then you pass the intent you want to access that's in the protected activity and then and you can see that here that the protected one is actually the first intent that I I've coded so this is a protected in, um, activity this is the intent in the protected activity and then this is the data I'm going to pass and this is the exported activity intent that sends the protected component the protected intent or the intent that should be protected so in a way this vulnerability is like a, a door to the entire application now just to show you that I have that first activity not exported in the manifest. I'll show you the ADB command. So this is what you want to see from an activity that's not exported. Permission denial from starting an intent. Um, now let's open my emulator. So I have my application already started. Now when I go to run the app you will see that it opens and then it redirects to google.com because the first intent allowed it to access the protected intent in that other activity. Now I'll exit out all these again and run it just with the apps just so you can see the interaction better. So here's the main app open. Here's the compiled POC. And when you when it goes to um on resume it redirects. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned a lot about how to access protected intents. Until next time.